In the book of St. John, chapter 10, in the book of St. John, chapter 10, it said the first verse, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, neighbor. I'm one of his own. And the sheep follow him for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them. But they that understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Now listen here. Please bear with me. Please bear with me just a few minutes. And I'm going to get out of the way. They did good things. I looked at some of them. I said, well, they had to go and think I'm not God enough to get in with me. But I see that God's people love me. God's people want to worship with me. Amen. Now we're all on the same page, Glenn. Now we're all on the same page. Do you love everybody in the building? Do you love one another? The seventh verse then said Jesus unto them again. What did you say, Burley, Burley? Truly, truly. Truly, truly. I say unto you, I am the door of a sheep.
another one. There's a door. Come on. There's a door.
It's not as hard, maybe, as everybody's made it out to be. We, Rita, have complicated the gospel of Christ. This is what we've done, Harry. They said Jesus is the door. So whenever they come in the door, then we lay this, this. We lay this. We lay this. So where everybody says, if that's the door, I'm going back out. I just read what he said. I don't care what the book says. I don't care what your grandma said. I don't care what your grandma said. I don't care what man said. I don't care what your granddad said. I don't care what uncle said. Yeah. Well, come. I love the old man. He's laying on top of the hill. I don't care what Jamie Cooch said.
Primeira nota. Did you have to play a dime a money to be saved? Oh, Brother Glenn Dukes, you can remember years ago when God's people came together. This man right here, I want you to listen. I want you to hear this. He also seen through the years when that separation started coming. Yeah, come on. It became because of man-made doctrine, man-made foolishness, and it separated God's people. You seen it? All through the come up under Ralph Spence, Bishop Kelly Williams, Richard Wee, all them good saints. Johnny Holbrook, all of them. That was your pastor. I see videos. Those people didn't have separation. But down through the years. Brother Lord Collins, Matty Collins, Pumpkin Brown was welcome to go there and work with him. Kirby and Lydia Samuel. Yes, he did. But down through the years, separation started coming in. And people started telling thieves who said thieves and robbers. And they quit telling folk to come through the door, but do your best to get in the window. He didn't, don't worry about coming through the door as long as you try to get in a hole with the seal. Stipulation one. It's your choice. What did he say? Whosoever will, let him come and take of the what? The water of life. Free. It's free. Mama Lizzie, it's free. Is that water good right there? That's good water, ain't it? But you get thirsty again. Huh? If we take it this living water, I don't believe his word lies. He said, I would never thirst again. Everybody stay in the house. Everybody stay. The door is open. It's up to you. This weekend represents what our Savior down on Calvary. Right now, they all felt defeated, sweet. In that day, right before the Sabbath, they all felt defeated. Right before the first day of the week. This altar just ain't for sinner people. You need God to move. You want Him to move. The tape's out of Thank you. 